The idea of discrete architecture is basically to construct the entire building from a single or set of discrete modular units, which follow certain rules to aggregate and connect with each other in a predefined way. If we look at the project of Concert Hall from Gauss Redsing, which he made a single folded CLT panel into a set of post and column structure system, and the void created by the folded parts left the space for all the HVAC, piping, and insulation systems to come in. By replicating these simple grid structures, he eventually pulled up the whole buildings with mainly the discrete prefect CLT panels, which looks not only elegant, but also sustainable. That's something we could learn from it. Always keep sustainability in mind and being efficient for the structures. For the project of Sydney Oral History Library, I decided to deconstruct bricks, which is one of the most popular and common construction material in the world. Deconstructed into three parts, each represents different levels of spatial composition for the brick. Then give them some thickness to create the object with volume, which depends on the scale could become different type of materials. Then I started to test and experimenting with those three discrete parts. They could freely connect with each other's on the side. We can see from this that we are able to generate horizontal and vertical structures in a very controllable means. And also, perhaps the aggregation looks more interesting if we viewing them as some sort of furniture set or even experimenting them to generate space volume. It start to open the view and perspective that we normally would have thought of. Now we need to see how it could be implemented to the actual site. The project site is located at the slipway on Kokatu Island overlooking the beautiful Sydney Harbour and the site is a popular destination for family camping. On the site, we are aiming to retain two structures, which is the electric towers on the road and the abandoned ship on the slipway. By looking at the circulations on the site, I think it would be nice to sit the library above the slipway, capturing the ocean breeze and view from the harbour. Also, we aim to blurring the line between in and out, creating more interstitial spaces in this project. The ground floor aimed to accommodate the exhibition space and the auditorium. The floor is basically dedicated to the public activities or a large number usage of events. And the first floor contains library, studio, offices, and archive storage space. Those programs are less interactive and requires more breakout rooms, smaller spaces, also higher demand of privacy and sound insulation. So it makes sense to have them together on the same floor. Then we look at the sections. Here we start to understand the spatial quality and some opportunities that our rule-based aggregation give us. The gaps created between parts could be the openings to introduce light and wind into the space, or could be the spot for planter and vegetations. Also, we are using CLT panel for the whole structures. The vertical parts is simply painted white to differentiate from horizontal structures also adding some contrast. And this exploded axonometrics show how each part is generated. The use of different discrete parts like the floor and the roof was only using part C and the walls are using both part A and part B. They all using different rules and the grammars to further confine the aggregation.